Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another episode of the Gundam the Build Divers. This is episode 13 and 14. So weird. Um, let's see what happens with our friends here because servers are out. They're realizing that the world of Freddy and them are real and it's really sad. Like, I, I almost started crying. I literally almost started crying last episode just because that was actually sad. Even though it's kind of still a video game, I but in reality they said they have the L divers which are technically conscious. So I think what's actually going on, and I'm going to speculate before this this episode starts out, is that those can PCs are similar to L divers because they have gathered uh, they they're they're basically AI technology that has advanced so much that they're basically real people. They have real emotions, real feelings. Everything that's happening to them is a legit thing that's actually happening to them. They just happen to exist in another world, kind of like Digimon. I would have to compare it really similarly to Digimon. So, without further ado, let's get into this episode right here. That's my speculation right there. Damn, a few months? Ooh, he's getting an unknown call. Who's this? It's me. Okay, he's gonna meet the real life me, which is a little gunpla doll thing. Oh, and it's her. Oh, and then there's Mr. Kuzumi. He's 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 a lot less muscular in real life. Oh, is he in a wheelchair? Oh. Oh, she's seriously going to try to get a taxi and she's literally six, six, three, four, five inches tall. Rich kid. Yeah, rich kid. Definitely a rich kid. I already forgot her name, but she's the one that works at the other Gotham base. I love the helmets. They, they got like the Xeon symbols on them. They, 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 that's pretty neat. And he gives out free gunpla. Interesting. Okay, alright. That's why he was like that. So it is something that affects. They are very realistic. Damn, all the piles of gunplay, dude. Like, fuck. This guy, this guy rose to the top. Okay, so it isn't. It's its own world. Yep, it's like Digimon. Oh, he's gonna have some flashbacks of the children. They they grew attached to Park. So he did start getting feeling the feels for her. So they actually do have a, a bar in real life. Okay, it's the one from earlier too. 
Why the fuck did the quality of the series instantly just get really bad? Okay, there we go. Get your shit fixed, Crunchyroll. Well, they got no mini cups for them. We haven't got our Patrick yet. Where's our Patrick? We need our Patrick per episode. It's not complete. And if I miss Patrick, I feel bad. Like, for real. At this point in the series, if you don't see Patrick at least one time in an episode, you aren't watching this series. You're watching another series. That'd be a pretty sweet place to go, though. Oh, she's going to give him the little push he needs to go back. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. What actually happened to her? Did she get deleted? Oh. He's like two episodes of all fills, like all the fills are happening at one time. Go do it, bro. Some upgraded parts, probably. Oh shit. They get to go back now. Oh, he got a nice little upgrade too. Hold on. Hold on. I know it's almost over, but hold up. Yeah, we got the Char Guild. All the Char Clones in one spot. Full Frontal, we got Quattro, whatever the fuck you wanted to be called in Zeta. We got actual... There's our Patrick. It's a, it's an official. It's a, it's an episode. Okay, cool. And then, I don't know who this guy is right off the top of my head, but we got a Char Clone. <laughs> or a Char Guild or Force or whatever you want to call it. Hey, they're all there. Our team's back. He fell for the girl. <laughs> Just answer Freddy, okay? Episode. Honestly, Freddy's a better well-written character than literally every character in Wing. Literally gonna put it out there. Get kicked off the face of the United States. I already, already said it. it. It's bad. Like, Freddy's honestly better than every character in Wing. Alright, let's get into this next episode right here. Oh, we're getting some backstory on Freddy. Like I said, Freddy's seriously more... It's better well-written than every character in Wing. Alright, we got a new theme song, but I want to get into this. Shit's good. good. The plot has thickened in episode 14. Look who's speaking. You like to go run off into ruins, and it's called Build Divers. Oh, 
Oh, poor little Freddy. They're really gonna make us hurt for Freddy, aren't they? It's a Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's not a creator. Patrick just bought armor wrapped up in a character. Oh, Riku's the one that got him into it. That's where Freddy got all this from. So Riku's inspired this boy. Having some nice little flashback here to the original Bill Diver. I mean, honestly, it is just flashbacky, but it's still like adding to it because this is all Freddy's experience and what inspired him. <laughs> He's playing soldier out there. They literally ignoring our man our man there like I see why he's so desperate to join and they just won't let him he he, he has like the heart in him but they're not letting him do it. I mean, I don't how old is he? Cuz he seems a bit older than most of the other kids, so I, I would think they'd at least let him help out with something, but there has to be another reason. Why did their big brother Jed not let him join? I guess we'll find out whenever we pan back to, like, we get back to modern, because this is more of a flashback and pre, prequel to, pre-sequel to the actual events that happened before the Build Divers showed up. Well, this group of Build Divers. So maybe when we pan back to the present we will get that information i, I hope so because they're making it a big deal right now like it was a small little thing earlier but now it's an actual deal big sister has to play mom Oh, Freddy's such a klutz. Is he gonna throw the rock? That got their attention. Oh, okay. This is what led up to the events. Okay. And that sealed the deal. We know this, bro. I like the I like the, that they at least told this though. It's at least a nice touch. Thanks, Freddy, for the flashback. All right, Freddy, I think you're going to be able to summon them again soon. Because in their world, their systems were all down, so they couldn't communicate with you. All the fills.
Damn, Freddy, you went through a bunch of shit to get them back. And then subconsciously opened it again. God damn, this episode just keeps going. Oh, okay, that does not look very good for our friends. Okay, the episode that doesn't ever end. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want it to end because it was so good, but it's like it just kept going and going and going and going, and I'm like, oh my god, so good though. Freddy, you are literally going up there in top tier characters in this franchise just because you literally have more backstory and more to you, more substance than every character in Wing. Literally, you you are probably one of the better characters in the franchise, even though you're just a random support. But you're still better. Like honestly, you are starting to become better than even this main character. This main character is pretty good, don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But you're starting to become better. Anyway, though, that's it for this for this one. On, for me on this one, if you're liking the videos, please slash that subscribe button. Do all the things that are appreciated. And don't, no harm, no foul. I'll see you guys in the next.